Hey everyone, everyone asks me how I get my uh, smooth uh, settings when I use my gimbal on my Phantom 4 Pro. So I wanted to do this quick tutorial on my settings that will kind of help everyone out a little bit. So let's get into my settings. First thing is I go down here to gimbal and I hit the advanced settings. And as you can see, I have my pitch speed set to 8. I like my gimbal pick speed to 8. That's pretty slow for some people, but for me, I kind of like it. And then I like my gimbal pick smoothness to 20. So, like, if you see from the background, this is me moving my gimbal. Look how smooth it is, right? Now, if I move my smoothness to 30, it takes a while to start moving, and it keeps moving a little bit after. And again, let's do it again up. You can see, it takes a while, and it goes, so I like, actually, so, and zero, as you can see, it starts moving a second, and it stops the second. There's no cinematic motion in that. It's pretty uh, slick, so I like setting mine to, 2021 is good. So as you can see, it starts, and it stops a little bit after, so you have to get used to that. That's pretty much how I get my gimbal uh, nice and smooth. And going. So let's actually just get this up in the air a little bit. Take off. And cut it up the in home the point air. has okay. been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, and you can see it's pretty smooth, and it's it's a little delay, and then it stops a little bit after, but it's very smooth. It's very cinematic. Now another thing I did is uh, you look at my panning to my left and panning to my right it's very smooth too it's not jerking there's a little jerk on my video that has nothing to do with the video it's taking um, so let's get into that setting so go into here and I go to my camera settings oh, and go to my expo and as you can see on my right rudder, I set my expo to 15. So, as you can see, as I'm turning, I kind of never make that turn really upwards much. So we've got a very nice small turn. What I also do is in the sensitivity, I turn my yaw movement all the way down. So, so then even if I turn my yaw a lot, it's not... A very quick movement and it's very panty and that's the way I get really good cinematic shots with those settings um, no we're gonna try something right now let's go up to this house and I'm gonna do something okay and now this is a house that I would be filming of course the time of the day is not the best and uh, the area I'm, I'm in not best but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing like an outward motion shot which I would do and I'm gonna swipe up up so we could see it at full screen so so this would be my out shot what I would be doing I would start pulling back and I would go up at the same time and I would slowly look at my gimbal down at the same time now look at that that's a perfect cinematic shot anyone who just saw that would see that I did a great cinematic shot it was very smooth. So, again, if you have any questions about my settings, please let me know, and I'll be happy to talk to you about it. Thank you very much. Again, this is Jonathan Smith. Thanks.